Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwa mnyashala. Kwa hulo imla, ya hawa bashim ya washai, bahashim, rakachakudash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us his beautiful truth. And just want to say the water to the Akim, Akwaf, that's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh to the best of their ability. Zachanah and the Waf just coming at you with another quick lesson. Praise that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, just want to go into this CBDC. This is um, from the business, Rudders. Swift sets out blueprint for central bank digital currency network so this is something that you know we got to keep an eyeball out on just like we, we're watching out for these wars rumors of wars the prophecies that Yahweh Shai spoke of your famines pestilence your earthquakes in diverse places and sedition of men and uproars of the people and he told us to you know measure all the time diligently and to watch and pray and these are the types of things that we're watching for because these are parts of the main the last main prophecies to happen before the return of our Lord Yahweh Shai, which the world eagerly calls Jesus. Okay, it says, um, London, and this was today, October 5th, was the date of 5th, whatever. Um, it says, financial, financial messaging system, SWIFT, has laid out its blueprint for a global central bank digital currency, the CBDC, is the acronym for it, and you're going to hear about this a lot more, you know, network following an eight-month experiment so they've been experimenting with this already on different technologies and currencies the trial which involved france and germany's national central banks as well as global lenders like hsbc standard charter and ubs looked at how cbdc's could be used internationally and even converted into fiat money if needed around 90 percent of the world's central banks are now using trialing or looking into CBDCs. So that's letting you know right there that hey, that's almost 100%. So what's that, what's that going to do? You know, you got to really think about that. <laughs> they, about to, they, about to get, they about to go straight digital, man. That's why you're seeing a lot of, you know, it, a lot of people don't really carry cash like that no more. A lot of people don't really use cash like that. You know, in the hood, Jake used cash. You know, some, you know, there's people use cash, don't get me wrong, but, in, in, you know, in general, people use, you know, Apple Pay. Um, they have, you know, the chips on the on the back of your, your debit card or, you know, generally people are pretty much using things like that. They're not really using, you know, they're using like cash apps, things of that nature. They're not really using cash, cash like that no more. And especially since the, um, the pandemic went down, you know, a lot of stores and, you know, they stopped accepting cash and coins and things of that nature and especially in a lot of other countries it says um around 90 percent of the world's central banks are now using trialing or looking into cbdc's most don't want to be left behind by bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies but are grappling with technological complexities swift's head of innovation nick kurgan said it's it's trial which will be followed by more advanced testing over the next year resemble a bicycle wheel where 14 central and commercial banks in total connected spoke like into the main hub the idea is that once scaled up banks may need only one main global connection rather than thousands if they were to set up connections with each counterpart individually we believe that the number of connections needed is much fewer therefore you are likely to have fewer breaks in the chain and you are likely to achieve greater efficiency the trial also tested different underlying CBDC technologies known as distri distributed ledger technologies. The use of various technologies has also been raised as a potential hurdle for rapid global adoption. There, were, there was a separate trial too carried out alongside City, Clearinghouse, Clear, um, Clearstream, and Northern Trust on tokenized assets. Traditional assets like stocks and bonds transferred into a digital token that can then be issued and traded in real time. Some countries such as the Bahamas and Nigeria already have CBDCs up and running. See that? China is well advanced with real life trials of the Iwan. And that's why I see America is so far behind. America is just trying to catch up right now. While Central Bank Umbrella Group, the bank for international settlements has also been running cross-border trials 
So this is a worldwide thing, man. That's how you, that's where you get your, you know, your so-called new world. Oh, you know what it is. It says, um, Swift's main advantage though, is that it's existing network is already, is already usable in over 200 countries and connects more than 11,500 in banks. Le yeah. 11,500 banks and funds. The Belgium based firm has gone from being virtually unknown outside banking circles to a household name this year after it cuts most of Russia's banks off from its network as part of the West sanctions for the country's invasion of Ukraine. And you already know, you know how that go. Because <clears throat> most of these countries, these places that this is all, you know, going down at, they're NATO, you know, NATO ran, EU ran, you know, so to speak. So, you know, they got it out for Russia anyway, because Russia is not rolling with the plan. R Russia is not going along with the alphabet shit he's not going along with you know he's just not going along with he's not your average um president i would say he's not going along with the get along with the the rest of the the, the so-called elite like that that's a different cut of edomite over there okay it says but this kerrigan guy he said that that kind of move could also happen in a new cbd system but doubted whether it would stop countries joining one so they can shut your they can shut your country down. You're gonna get down a lay down, basically. You see? Now, now Russia is still out here on the move. They're still doing their thing, but you know, once they implement this fully, it'll be kind of hard for them to actually move about, you know. They they you know, it, it, they they want everybody down with this, man. Okay, it says ultimately what most central banks are looking to do is to provide us with a CBD CBDC. For the people, the businesses, and the organizations in their jurisdiction. <laughs> so a solution that's fast and efficient and that gains access to as many other countries as possible would seem to be an attractive one. Okay, so and that's pretty much it on that. Um, let's see, so we've got three people commented. Oh yeah, somebody said kicking the ball through the goalposts for total control. Think about it. How long do you think it would take them to decide who and what you are allowed to buy. you right. Digital currency is a terrible idea. The government doesn't have the right to decline transactions between companies. Yeah, right. This person says, I'm sorry, but this has the mark of the beast <laughs> written all over it. Once digital, it, it is a skip and a hop to a, ch a chip implant instead of cards or phones. Hey, see, hey, this talk of this thing is, is is coming up more and more these days and i really didn't want to read it out like that but hey it is what it is man you know the lord give it then he take it away so but we don't want any strikes on the channel going into stuff like this but we got to do these lessons man so fuck them you know but that's what i wanted to basically get down to i'm gonna keep it short and sweet anyway with this revelations um 13 and 16 that last comment that i just read that's what that is going into that quote, because our people have to know, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the Hebrew Israelites. They most definitely want to turn you into a perpetual slave. You better believe it. You're the exact people that they want. They already got you. That's the crazy part. They already have you enslaved. But that's not enough for them. They 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 want to really brand you. They want to brand you, man, and turn you into that 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 perpetual slave, man. As a matter of fact, let me see if I can find this um. Let's try this out real quick. Um, let's get it in Exodus. Now, what this is called is a, uh, if we're pronouncing it right, all. Oh, let me let me just go into it real quick. Because this is going off into um, a servant. Now let me start from the top. It says fair treatment of slaves. That's the title of this, right? Let's we'll start from verse one. Now these are the judgments which thou shalt set before them. If thou buy an Hebrew servant, six years he shall serve, and in the seventh he shall go out free for nothing. And see that, you know, when this was going down, this is basically like employment, so to speak. You know, it's like, you know, you contracted in, you know what I'm saying? And you worked and you done your you done your thing, man, for those six years and you was let go. 
and 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 it is what it is but what see this so-called white man he has what you call um you know perpetual slavery so to speak you know he, he was breeding us like puppies <laughs> you know as soon as you're born you're you, you belong to him too your property and so on and so forth and we're still here in the americas and, and scattered throughout the five you know the on the four corners of the earth to this very day to all these damn heathens and edomites we're still in slavery 500 years man going in with these people right so these people will tell you that you know they're christians they go by the scriptures. They love Jesus. But in the meanwhile, you've had the children of Israel in slavery for like 500 years, damn near, man. It says, if thou buy a Hebrew servant, six years he shall serve, and in the seventh he shall go out free for nothing. If he came in by himself, he shall go out by himself. So this was something that he wanted to do. You know, if he if he were married, then his wife shall go out with him, right? If his masters have given him a wife and she had borne him sons and daughters, the wife and her children shall be her masters and he shall go out by himself. And if the if the servant shall plainly say, I love my master, my wife and my children, I will not go out free. Then his master, this is the point right here. Then his master shall bring him unto the judges. He shall also bring him to the door or unto the doorpost. And had and his master shall bore his ear through with an awl, and he shall serve him forever. You see, and this is this is what they're really trying to do. They 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 want to put a digital awl in you. Let me see how they actually pronounce that. Let me see if they got a pronunciation on it. Get a, get the meaning on that. This is what this so-called white man wants to do, man. He wants to perpetually enslave you by putting Strong's H forty eight thirty six. Math say that. Okay, it's Masa'a. Basically. Okay, let's see what it means. See, he wants to put this shit in you digitally. A boring instrument. Okay? And how, 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 do they, how do they normally... When you see these people... It's just like going to a... Um, um, you know, the people that's actually been doing... A lot of this sea um, this, this hipping, this chipping... Have been, um, you know, like tattoo artists or um, body pictures, right? And what? How do they do it? They use a boring instrument. If you've seen, if you've seen any of these videos where people are actually getting it, they're using a big ass syringe, basically, a boring instrument. You see? What else they got? Okay, so they have it there, and it was also Deuteronomy fifteen and seventeen, and these are the only two verses. In the scriptures that, that actually mention this, um, let me see what this one is going to this Deuteronomy 1 15 and 17. I'm trying to see if this is um, Salakia because there, because there was a difference. Oh, release for Hebrew slaves. So basically, we'll be going into basically the same thing. Let me start from verse 12. It says, if, And if thy brother, an Hebrew man, or an Hebrew woman, be sold unto thee, and serve thee six years, then the seventh year thou shalt let him go free for, from thee. And when thou sendest him out free from thee, thou shalt not let him go away empty. See? You think the so-called white man is doing any of this? Hell no. Thou shalt furnish him liberally out of thy flock and out of thy floor. See, you got paid, man. And out of thy, thy wine press. Of that wherewith Yahweh thy God hath blessed thee, thou shalt give unto him. But what, what does the so-called white man do? He, he tells you that you're free and you're still paying taxes to him. <laughs> it says, and thou shalt remember that thou wast a bond man in, in the land of Egypt. And Yahweh thy God redeemed thee. Therefore, I command thee this day, this thing today, and it shall be if he say unto thee, I will not go away from thee because he loveth thee and thine house because he is well with thee. Then thou shalt take an all same thing, the boring instrument and thrust it through his ear unto the door and he shall be thy servant forever. And also unto thy maid servants, thou shalt do likewise. And that's pretty much what it is. And this is what they really want to do to you. 
They want to, they, especially, like I said, again, they want to do it to even their own people. But they definitely want you, you Israelites. Because once you Israelites, if you, if you take that shit, you're going to be, that's, that, hey, that's, that's like a form of idol worship. Um, um, witchcraft, so to speak, um, um, rebellion towards, you know, how about Shimei was shy. And a lot of our people, man, they, as soon as they, they get a little, they get a little hunger, hunger pangs, they gonna go for it. But this is Revelation 13, 16. And he calls it for all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads with that boring system. <laughs> And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And that's what this is all boiling down to. That's what these this um, central bank system that they're trying to put together is, is, is basically going to do. You're going to have to have that shit to be able to operate out here, man. Other than that, you're going to depend upon your how about Shimei was shy. You see? Well, let's go to chapter 14 and let's see what the results of it going to be if your ass do it. That's why it's our time to awake out of sleep, man. You, Jake, y'all got to wake the hell up. These so-called white people, man, they trying to uh, fuck you over for life. <laughs> you see, hey, and Jake ran right out here. All they had to do was tell Jake, you you, you, you going to lose your little bullshit job. You, you know, Jake, I, oh, well, I, you know, I get benefits. I don't, you know, I got my insurance. My kids is on insurance. You know, it's a good job. I, I got weekends off. I'm, I'm, I'm up to three, four weeks in vacation. I'm not leaving my job. So-called white man tell you to come roll your damn sleeve up four times. You done took the, the three-point shot and the layup from the flagrant foul. You see what I'm saying? All over a fucking job, man. With no... And, and, and not believing in your how about Shimei Shai. And that's what it's going to all boil down to. You're going to either believe in this so-called white man or you're going to believe in the Lord, man. <clears throat> and if you believe in this so-called white man, you're going to be destroyed. Revelations 14 and 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and the image and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb and this hey, it's not going to be a good look man <coughs> it's blocky you got um this one camp out here that be marching by the thousands down up and down the street talking about some goddamn most high in christ the guys in the purple and yellow talking about now they saying that you know this is, you know, the, the, the C-hip or the chippity chip chip chocolate chip is, you know, the MOTB, the mark. But you if you take it, you can repent. This is not what that's saying. Let's get in an NLT over here. This is not this is not saying you can repent from it. First nine again in the NLT. Then a, then a third angel followed them shouting anyone who worships the beast and his statue or who accepts his mark on the forehead or, or on the hand must drink the wine of the God of God's anger. It has been poured with full strength into the cup, into God's cup of wrath. And they will be tormented with fire and burning of sulfur in the presence of the Holy lamb, the Holy angels and the lamb. And that's hey, you're going to catch them damn nukes, man. You're going to get that millet, that, that, that the ICBM to your damn face, man. See, we're, 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 we're praying to you how about Shimei Shai for mercy, man. We're trying to get the hell out of here. When, when all this go down, when the nukes go down, and, and all the bullshit go down, and we're trying to be in the chariots looking down on this shit, man. We're we trying to be in what they call the UFOs. We, we want to be looking at looking down on the destruction and, 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 and Babylon the Great, good old America being turned to the lake of fire, man. And straight up, that's what we're looking forward to. So, hey, keep an eyeball out. The scripture says to, you know, to walk circumspectly. Let's get that real quick. Ephesians 5, 15. And it reads, See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. These are some evil days that we're living in. And like I said again, the Lord, he said to watch and pray. That's a commandment. That's a direct commandment from Yahweh by Shemiah and warn the flock. 
You know? We're supposed to be warning our people when we see shit like this. Like, hey, look, man, the house is on fire. <laughs> Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Like, you got to repent to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, man. Those are the true names of the Father and Son. And that goes to you, you, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Again, you are the Hebrew Israelites. The rest of these heathen nations, the Lord is going to deal with them for the way that he's dealt with, for the way that they've dealt with you. They're going to pay for all the shit they've done, man. So with that, I predict the lesson was edifying. Quam Yashalom.